bunnies welcome to another naked sunday video before we begin go ahead and grab yourself a drink what i'm drinking is rum runner and yes like almost half of it is gone because i couldn't help myself this is the fruit punch flavor and yeah so <laughs> go ahead grab yourself a drink and then come back and let us talk all right for today's video for no rhyme or reason i want to talk about exhibitionism Per se. The literal definition is somebody who likes to show their genitals in public. That's not what we're going after. The, <laughs> as based on the title, you'll see that we're going to be talking about five best places to have sex in public without getting caught. Okay? Okay. And this is for the people who know they might get caught, but know they won't get caught, but the thrill of knowing that it might happen is enough to make you want to do it all right so my first place and this is one of the most common spaces i don't have any straws in my cup this is one of the most common spaces and it's a parked car now where you park your car that's where it, it really matters because you can't just well no no i was going to say park it in your garage but then it's like why would you want to have sex in the garage you feel me so parking your car in like your condos parking designated parking spaces like in between two big trucks that works that works that's not a very specific just now but <laughs> that works parking lots at night time you know when it's really dark that works as well like you know at the mall or whatever again sounding very specific but that works but yeah and then just figuring out how to position yourself so you are somewhat concealed if your car has tints that's even better if it doesn't I, I, you're at a higher risk of being seen if you don't really care you're just like fuck it then you know it is what it is but that's place number one and again one of the most common places to have sex in public without being caught space number two the roof if you have access to your building's roof <laughs> or if you can get on your roof your house rooftop or whatever that's a great place because you're literally out in the open and no one is going to see you unless you're making a lot of noise and your roof is like yay high and you know whatever but the roof i feel like is just perfect if you can bring a super thick blanket or if you have I don't want to say a blow up bed because that's just you know doing a lot but yeah if and there are positions you can do where you're standing up yeah where you don't have to necessarily lay on the roof to where it can work out so that's my second spot second spot without dropping my phone the roof third the pool if you have a pool in your backyard great this is perfect you just jump in do what you gotta do if you're at a hotel now or if you are visiting relatives or at a friend's house and you decide to jump into the pool there that works as well you just shift your bathing suit bottom to the side and and you go to town and look like you two are cuddling and you know <laughs> being intimate like all the only part people who would actually think you're having sex are like-minded people you feel me or if you're doing the absolute most in the pool while you're having sex then obviously it's going to be obvious that you're having sex so yeah that's place number three number four and elevates all now i'm not telling you that if you live on like a four three four five story building that this might work out for you because what would be the point you're like literally right there you know this is for people who live in like super high rises or if you're working in a certain building and you know you have to go up the elevator and it's again a super high rise or again a hotel they have elevators what I will say is look out for cameras in those type of elevators um, so you can, you're either going to not want to do it 
if you weren't people going to be watching you or figure out where the cameras are angled and then just not show your face that's what I would say. And then there's always like a button that you can press to stop the elevator. So you're not going up and down, don't worry about all of that. Um, yeah. So car was number one, um, roof was number two, pool number three, elevator number four, and now number five is public restroom. And that's again, another common one, especially if they have the handicap stalls. There's a lot of room in there and I apologize to any handicappers who wants to get into the bathroom while you're there doing what you're doing, but <laughs> the space works out great. They usually have handlebars that you can hold on to for certain positions. It, it just works, works. Or not necessarily handicap stall either, but in the mall they have family restrooms. You lock that door, make sure, of course, make sure nobody else is in there, and then do what you have to do and those are my top five places to have sex in public without anyone catching you if you have any more public spaces list them down below in the comment section make sure you like make sure you're subscribed and make sure you share this video with your friends i keep saying vigil <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching until next time peace sign and kissy face bye